Hey folks, I'm best-selling author of The Power Zero, David McKnight. In today's video, you'll see part one of my conversation with CPA Chris McCormick, in which we discuss whether or not you should roll the dice on tax-deferred retirement accounts like 401ks and IRAs. I'd just like to start by asking you what drove you to write this book? Uh, where were you when this became uh, your work? And uh, how has it influenced your life since then? That's a good question, a good place to start. Uh, I wrote it back in 2013, and um, it sort of sprung out of this idea that um, Americans weren't really all that concerned about the fiscal trajectory of our nation. I mean, after all, Bill, Bill Clinton stood before the nation in 1997, and he said, hey, I got great news. We've got budget surpluses for the next you know, 25 years, okay? So if we keep on this path, we're not gonna have any, any you know, any financial issues really uh, for 25 years. And of course, after 25 years, Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, the unfunded obligations for those would start to catch up with the country. But he said, look, we shouldn't be incurring any real national debt between now and then. Well, of course, we all know what happened since then. We've piled on 34, well, it's about $29 trillion of debt in the intervening years, none of which had to do with Social Security, Medicare, or Medicaid all of which had to do with unfunded obligations for, for example, the pres prescription drug program, which was completely unfunded, um, wars in Iraq, uh, COVID bailouts, et cetera. And so, you know, most financial experts look at the long-term trajectory of our country and they say, well, man, you know, the unfunded obligations for Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid are going to completely sink our ship. I mean, there's a massive $239 trillion gap between what we promise and what we can afford to deliver. But we've managed to add $34 trillion in spite of all that that had nothing to do with Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid. So I saw a difference between what Americans believed about the future trajectory, financial trajectory of our nation, and what was actually playing out. And so in 2013, I wrote uh, The Power of Zero which was sort of my attempt to buck this, um, you know, the prevailing notion that you should get a tax deduction on your retirement savings today um, and postpone the payment of those dollars till a point in the future, much down the much further down the road when tax rates are likely to be much lower than they are today. Well, our, our fiscal condition is now such that very well-regarded third-party experts, such as former Comptroller General of the federal government, David Walker, um, Ed Slot, Wall Street Journal calls him America CPA. Um, Jamie Dimon is now opining on the national debt. Um, so we have all these third party experts that are saying, hey, look, tax rates, we're, we're going to face this fiscal cliff in 10 years where tax rates have to rise dramatically or we go broke as a nation. Penn Wharton recently released a study in which they said that if we don't, through some combination of dramatically raising taxes or dramatically cutting back on Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid, um, in the next 20 years, we will hit a point of no return. In other words, we will start to spy, we will begin this death spiral from which there is no deliverance. In other words, starting in, 19, in 2043, no combination of raising taxes or reducing spending will be enough to arrest the sort of the economic collapse of our nation. And so all of this is sort of a backdrop against which, you know, against which I wrote The Power of Zero, which is trying to explain to America that it may not ultimately be in their best interest to continue to contribute dollars to tax deferred accounts, pushing off that tax and, you know, to a point in the future when tax rates are likely to be much higher than they are today, because that act alone could force them to run out of money you know, 10 to 12 years faster than they otherwise would. Why not pay taxes at historically low tax rates, get those dollars socked away in tax-free accounts so that by the time tax rates do rise dramatically over time, we've done all the heavy lifting, we can then take that money out tax-free. So that was really the premise for writing the book. Obviously, you know, I, I, I self-published the book in 2013. I threw it out on Amazon, crossed my fingers, hoped that it would do well. And, you know, here we are, like you mentioned, 300, 350,000 copies later. And uh, it was really sort of a, you know, a big, a big, um, touch point in my life. Um, obviously, when you write a book, you get lots of speaking engagements and um, it sort of puts you on the map. And I've, I wrote a couple of other books that are follow ups to that book. But, um, you know, I like to think that we started a little bit of a, a financial revolution, a tax free retirement planning revolution, where people are starting to become aware of the fiscal trajectory of our nation and they now have the tools to be able to, to do something about it. 
Okay, folks, that was part one of my interview with CPA Chris McCormick. In the next 10 years, I'm looking to put 100,000 Americans on the road to the 0% tax bracket. If you would like some help implementing a balanced, comprehensive approach to tax-free retirement that shields you from the impact of higher taxes down the road, head on over to davidmcknight.com and click on the Connect with an Advisor button. I'm happy to refer you to an advisor in the Power Zero network that has been trained, vetted, and qualified personally by me. If you are a financial professional and want to learn how to become a certified Power Zero advisor, head over to powerzero.com and opt into my free video series. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to drop them into the comment section below. I'll respond to every single one of them personally. And don't forget to click like, subscribe, and the bell so you never miss a video. This is David McKnight. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.